Hi, everybody. This is Samantha Calamaris with App Properties. I'm here again doing another community favorite. And today I am interviewing and talking with Lauren Lilly. And she is an influencer and blogger. And she does a ton on Instagram. And she's also local to us. Her, um, she's called the Lilly Bag. So hi, Lauren. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? Good. I'm so excited to have you on today. Um, I feel Thanks like I know you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you do. Uh, I do. So <laughs> yes. little background, um, I was at the pool and I was talking to a friend of mine and she was telling me about clothes and she's like, oh, well, there's this local blogger that you need to follow. And I started following you. And then when I was looking at the house, I'm like, wait, I know that house. I <laughs> yeah. know that house. <laughs> yes, you did. I did. You come so back I represented and the seller. I, well, you've yeah. done so much to it. It's, oh, um, it's beautiful. I Great. actually so thought. Go oh, ahead. Go ahead. I said, I actually thought, which I didn't even tell you prior to jumping on here, um, that I would be more of a home account. Yeah, I know. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah. yeah I love, mm -hmm. I love all those projects. So yeah, you, you definitely have talent for it. So that's for sure. Thank you. Okay. All right. So tell me a little bit of your background, <laughs> why you chose um, to make this a family affair, because you do actively involve your kids and your husband yeah. and your dog. And was that <laughs> intentional? Was it an accident? And um, also your connection to our community. Sure. Um, so yeah, I'm a mom, I'm a wife. I was a hairdresser for 19 years <laughs> at the same, oops, there's that, that's, there's Steve. that's why we're a family affair. <laughs> Can't get through anything without somebody interrupting. Um, and then our connection. So I kind of got started. I kind of dabbled into this a little bit as a hairdresser and it was, it's coming up on about a year this summer that I left and kind of went full time into our business that we have here in Lake Zurich, um, here in the community. This is actually Paul and I's second home. So we've been here for about 12 years. We decided to raise our family here. You know, the local schools were a big, big thing for us as well. So mm -hmm. that's kind of our connection here. We've been here for a long time. We love the community. And yeah, now we're running our business here, so. You are, and do you remember that moment when you were like, all right, um, I think I'm gonna become a blogger and how that pushed you into the influencer world? Yes, um, we were talking a little bit about this before and I was saying it was actually Paul. I had just had Aubrey. I was still working behind the chair as a stylist, which is still my number one passion. I love the hair world. And he had kind of said to me like, babe, I think you, I think you need a hobby. And I was like, what? I just had a baby and I work. And what do you mean? I need a hobby. Like there's no time. I can barely keep up as it is now. Um, and I was always kind of a person that anything I loved, no matter what it was, like whether it was a restaurant, a doctor, um, a shirt, a piece of makeup, a hair product, whatever, mm -hmm. I would always be sharing that with my clients, my friends, my family, um, and very passionately, just like, oh my gosh, you got to try this, you know, like, mm -hmm. and kind of like that. So that year for Christmas, he had bought me my domain name and a computer. And I had kind of laughed and I was like, oh, babe, you got to return this. Like computers are expensive. You know, I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm not doing this, you know, kind of a thing. And as a hairdresser, we really didn't, we really don't work on computers. We're on the clients and we used apps on our phone. And I hadn't even worked on a computer in probably 10 years. Um, so long story short, he did return it. And then we had kind of, I still kind of was dabbling on the side into this industry. And I remember a friend from high school had shared my Facebook page before I was kind of ready to officially launch. And then I kind of was like a fish swimming uphill ever since. And I kind of connected with the brands and here we are. So, mm -hmm. well, yeah, you, you've definitely grown your business. It, it, I can't believe it's only been a year. Um, so full that's time. really yeah. full We've time. Been, yes. Yeah. Full time for okay. a year. It's three and a half years that I launched. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. All right. So tell me, do you have some sort of system for choosing the products that you advertise in your videos? Sure. Um, I actually don't have anything like not a system in place. I really, really try to focus on things that I just use and love. Um, I am very particular about the content I share. Um, for those that do follow me, I'm sure they know I will not share at just anything. Um, again, I think this is kind of like, I think we get a lot we do, I think it's a big misconception that we just get these brands, just send us all this free stuff and that we have to share it. And that's really not how it works at all. So I try to really just share and kind of whether it's a product or an activity or something that, you know, makes us you know, 
stay overnight better at a hotel with the kids or all those little things. I just try to share like our real everyday life of things that work for us as a family, really. You do. You, a, I, yeah. Baxter, it's, 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 poor Baxter. Gosh. Um, it's fine. <laughs> it's so fine. If you're <laughs> not following me, this is how it is. So I apologize. Exactly. Baxter, come here, don't treat He's going to bark okay. the whole time, you guys. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Let's keep going. So you do, you also, you, you put recipes up, you put um, hair yes. styling products, clothes, um, home decor. So it's not just one yeah. type of product. And that's what no. I like. It's all different types of things. Um, so while you're out and about yes. shopping for all of these things, I'm sure you get recognized. And how do you handle it when you get recognized out in yeah. the community? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so fun. I love it. I love connecting. It's, I think it's always more awkward for the other person. Cause they're sometimes they'll message me like after I leave target. And I, I usually now at this point can recognize like who recognizes me. Um, and it's funny cause it's always the day you're at target, like no makeup on, you know, and they're like, is that, <laughs> is that not, right. but they're kind of like, kind of giving you the love. Um, but for those that come up and like say, Oh my gosh, I have to say hi or whatever. I, I mean, I love it. I feel like it's very simple similar to even as working, you know, as a hairdresser in the community for so long. It's like, I was always running into clients and, you know, teachers or, you know, friends and I love it. I just, I mean, I'm normal just like you guys. So I think people always feel like, you know, I always say you guys get to see me, but I don't get to see you on the other right. end. So I love it. Always say hi, you know, or sometimes people send over a drink or they'll see the kids and Paul actually gets recognized a lot. I did um, see him one time. I was in a parking yeah. lot. I think he was going to Binnie's and he walked <laughs> in front of me and I was like, <gasps> and I'm like, he That's has fun. no idea. Yeah. And I'm sure it's the significant gray hair and, oh yeah, it's yeah. so funny even cause you know, here in our community, you know, there's a lot of local shopping. So I'll get messages mm -hmm. like, I swear I just saw your husband, you know, yeah. or I swear I saw him and Lana out walking and I'm like, tap, 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 well, you know, one yeah, person, you're here. Like, yeah. One person was like, oh, I can't believe you're out in the wild. <laughs> like you're real, you know? And I'm like, yes, I have a home yes. and you do and but that's one of the you're you're organically um approachable and um I always say it's kind of like my guilty pleasure sometimes I'll just watch it because I'm just <laughs> yeah you just want some... entertainment yeah yes. yeah um so let's talk about how has the COVID-19 pandemic changed the way you're conducting business and are you doing anything differently right now yes so I feel like it's changed so much so fast that I really, really try to just, you know, keep it organic to what, what the community needs to, or what my, my following wants to see. So whether it's what we're doing to keep busy for the kids or which, which brands I am connecting with, um, I think the influencer, the influencer market right now is huge because that's all there is for people have a lot, a lot of, of these retailers <laughs> yes and and with the brick and mortar buildings shut um they're finding i know you know just on some of the calls i've had business wise that you know analytics are so up even on social media just like yourself and i'm mm -hmm. sure you know yeah. everybody watching like people are looking, think yeah. about yeah you're just browsing and then they're saying you know the people, you know, even though they're just browsing, they might not actually be clicking through where on, on the platform that I work on, we're finding that our, our click rate and all of that is up actually 75%, which is mm -hmm. impressive. That's more than any Black Friday. That's more than people are just wanting to see what's going on and, you know, what activities you're doing with your kids and, you know, what workbook is that that Aubrey's using or, so I really have tried to keep it just as organic as it is I can just what we're really doing and things that you know things that you really can do um, I also really try to support as much as I can locally and then healthcare workers it's near and dear to my heart so um, I feel extra sensitive to that um, you know especially I feel like when we have this platform it's a good reminder to like stay home it's okay you know just try to make people feel like you're normal too because it's it's our new norm it's very different so it i try is. to just focus on what i can and not what i can't that's what i keep saying to paul there's so much that we can do um and all the little projects that you can't get done in your house like we're tackling them i'm sure you are too like yeah. we just changed out knobs in our kitchen that have been there for five years you know it took us mm -hmm. 20 minutes and cost 30 bucks but it was like let's make it happen you know yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So you it's have, been which interesting. You, yeah, you are extremely candid on your Instagram posts and you're, you know, sometimes I think, is that difficult or how does it feel to be so open and honest on a social media platform and has right. that changed over time to you? Very interesting. Um, yes and no. So I feel um, from day one, it's always just been kind of, this is what you get. I think with time, of course, like anything, you get more comfortable. So you kind of just, I think photos, a lot of us say, um, are probably the biggest downfall. You know what I mean? For not the biggest downfall, but the least favorite part. So you do get tired, you know, you're like, I don't want to take another picture today. So, um, (laughs) but the fact that I've always tried to just keep them authentic. And like you said, candid, even our family photos that we have professionally done, I always prefer candid photos. And I think it resonates better. Um, I think being just have a, having a very open platform and your opinion, um, on things you, you know, I've always just tried to keep it very real, open and honest. And I have to say the feedback, the feedback has been nothing but positive. I really have had no negativity come from it. Thank God. I think a lot of it is maybe just cause it's always, you know, I'm an open book. You kind of see what you see is what you get. Well, I'm sure so. you have so many people who are trying to get you to do something for them or oh, present yeah. something and mm-hmm. you have to be very specific. But what I can tell mm-hmm. you is from watching, um, you from before this and after it, you have felt extremely open and sharing. Um, it's been a pleasure watching you. Aww, I think you. Um, it's, it's honest, it's real, and we have fun. We're watching your kids grow and we're watching Baxter and um, <laughs> so, we're, you know, I mean, I, like one of my favorite yeah. products you have. I have yes, it right I have it on too. now. Yes, yes. me too. Yes. Um, so it, it has been great to get to know you. Um, I'm really uh, thankful that you spent yeah. the time with me today. Um, one thing I want to mention is you do have really great emails and I actually kind of look forward to getting them. So I click on them because Thank I want to see what you've got. Um, so how can we support you and where can we find you? Yes. So f- supporting me is just supporting my content really. So you can find me, I have a blog, which is where you're getting my emails from. Those go out usually a couple times a week. Um, my email address is the lilybag.com and it's L I L L I E. I don't know if we can type that out, but I'll put it in the comments or something. Mm -hmm. Um, and then my Instagram is very, probably where most of the action happens. And that's at the lily bag. Um, all my social media accounts are linked kind of to that Facebook, Pinterest. So yeah, I'm always just, you know, the more you engage, and the more you support my content, it just allows me to support the community more and, you know, the brands I love and to continue to do this as my job, really. So this is how, you know, we support our family. So, and you, there's a lot of products that you post that you don't make a penny off of. Let's be real. Oh, about totally. That. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, so yeah. Many. When you yes. start up, yeah. When you start up, I mean, and you and I were kind of having this conversation off, off camera, but it's like, again, just so many people think like you start a business and you get all this free stuff. And it's, I mean, it goes the same across the board for any business. Like whoever's starting, you know, if you're opening a paint store, you don't just get all free paint because now you opened a store. So you're going to sell it. Absolutely not. You know, like people think, Oh, does Gucci just send you all those shoes? And you're like, no, you know, it's such a, it's such a misconception, you know, but yeah, like the hairsprays and a lot of that stuff, that's all my, this is all me, my stuff that I'm sharing, you know, and of course, you know, it it has turned into a business for me, thankfully, and I'm grateful for that, but not everything is, is given to us as you develop relationships with brands. Of course they support you and they collaborate with you and that's how you grow and make right. this community, of course. So sure. that is the goal, but I will never work with a brand that I don't support, period. Good. Good. Yeah. Well, I'm so thankful for your time. I know you're super thank busy. You. Um, so thank you. And everybody go find her, follow her. She's super Thanks fun to watch. so much. Thanks thank for having you. me. Of course. Stay safe.